Okay, now we are getting ready for Shadows of Eldalon Roll20. First, we're going to introduce every, ourselves and our characters as appropriate. Uh, I will go first. I am your GM. Uh, I'm Aaron. Uh, I am generally known online as Wolf Samurai. And uh, I am the director of online play for Fire Opal Media, among other things. Uh, Justin, why don't you go next? Uh, I'm Justin Robinson. Uh, on Twitter, I'm at Rev and Fuego, uh, the Reverend and Fuego on BJ Shea's Geek Nation. Uh, you can check it out at bjgeeknation.com. And uh, I am playing a high elf wizard, Amon Varel. And why don't you go into your your one unique thing and a little bit about your character? Uh, my character um, is uh, he will he was orphaned and raised by the Wizards of Horizon. Um, yet rumors persist that his birth may have been more arcane than not. Um, so, raised by the wizards, he is the quintessential book nerd. He's a Poindexter. Your wizard Jesus? That's what it sounds like you're going for. Well, I mean, <laughs> Amon no. has five letters Basically, in his name. You're Jesus. not a rebel. You you grew up just like just the way the wizards wanted you to. Yes, you are a. You are a you are a star pupil. So, are, have you like been sent out as a missionary to show what wizards should be, and, or uh, you know, or why aren't you with your your books? I mean, people, uh, I mean books. Books and people. Yeah. What's right. the difference? Books yeah. are people. <laughs> that is his. The only thing he has done has been a sort of diplomatic intern in the uh, aspects of uh, going to um, um, Axis or some of the other towns to uh, meet up with any wizards in those areas to learn things, right? So it's just, like, going on, so like, like, student exchanges. So to be really rude, and not, you know, to someone in the world, and I apologize to whoever I'm being really rude to, you are, like, the incredibly w sort of wealthy, well-educated kid who went to the Peace Corps, and instead of having to go somewhere hard, you've just been going to all the cush places, sleeping in four-star <laughs> hotels. He's kind of a yeah. He's kind of gliding through it on that. Okay then. All right, Varel. So you're going to pay for all the drinks, is what my character is thinking. <laughs> Quite probably, it. yeah. I think that might be why we hooked up with you. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to have an unlimited account. <laughs> he said. Playing Justin's character. Seems, seems <laughs> <to>. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty. Uh, all right, Sean. Why don't you go next? All right. Um, I'm Sean. Some of you guys might know me as the heavy metal GM. Uh, I run a 13th age block. I am playing Thorir Ironbreaker. Also, a uh, we we got two dwarf barbarians, and I'm one. Uh, my one unique thing is my hair lights on fire when I rage. This is a result of uh, a little bit of Azer blood being mixed in exactly 12 and a half generations ago. <laughs> um, I, I, right I, now, I, I have mean, questions about the half generation, but... <laughs> 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 it's a kind of a pride thing. My family doesn't like to talk about it, so they don't want to consider the Azer part a full generation. They're like, no, screw those guys. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Nice. Um, so my occupation right now, I am known as uh, the crushing finger of the crusader. Just the finger, not the whole fist. You are the <laughs> finger poke <laughs> of doom. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, I'm also the winner of the Iron Dwarf contest. Um, however long ago that was, last time. I've been away from home a while. It's like and an Iron Man competition, except for it's much harder because it's dwarves. Right, and so in, instead of throwing the gigantic logs that they do in Scotland, you're throwing stone pillars. <laughs> <laughs> They're petrified um, logs. There you go. Yeah. yeah, kind of the same thing. And then also I have the reputation of being a culturally diverse dwarf. Which is kind of odd among my people. Sounds good. All right, Philip, you're our next. I am Phil, and I uh, just got us to play this earlier today. Um, <laughs> I am playing Clovis, the human paladin. Um, I uh, grew up on a farm, went out and joined the 10th Legion, became a sergeant, died at the Battle of Northern Colossus, woke up the next day not able to remember what happened in between with paladin powers, 
kind of wandering around trying to figure out why I have the powers and what purpose I'm meant to serve. All right. That's pretty good. And Rob. Yeah, my name is Rob Hainso, and apparently I'm a featureless black cloud while everyone else is <laughs> full color characters. Uh, we I always am... suspected. We always suspected. Yes, it's true. Uh, I today am going to be playing Gudrun Dragon Killer, who is another dwarf barbarian. Um, the name is inherited from my mother, um, who did kill a dragon. Uh, Vanna the Dragon Killer. My grandfather, however, had drowned and then been eaten by a dragon. And my great grandfather also killed a dragon. And the great great grandmother was eaten by a dragon. And my great 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 grandfather, he chalked the, the splendid. He killed a lot of dragons. And if you really look at the pattern, it looks like I'm probably due to be eaten because I don't have any <laughs> brothers or sisters. So I. I'm kind of reckless because I figure if there aren't any dragons around, whatever. You're you're probably good. I'm probably good, and uh, I mean I do. It is a little bit worrisome that grandfather seemed to have just drowned and then turned out to also have been eaten by a dragon. But you know, whatever. I, we're brave. I'm gonna give it a try. All right. <clears throat> oh, and I'm, a, I'm really in, uh, this, as, a, as a consequence of partial of this, one of my big backgrounds is dwarven genealogical research, it's called, but I, I'll, I'll just mention that that involves a lot of underground delving and other things that the Game Master might let me get away with. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> I'm generally pretty good with this. Uh, all righty then. All right. So, you guys are in Eldalon which is a city on the south side of the uh, Midland Sea. Um, you guys are actually here to meet with a representative of the Emperor, uh, a halfling by the name of a Rayleigh Tallfellow. And uh, to that end, you've come to Hawker's Square, which is down here in what's called the Commons area of Eldalon. Um, and uh, Rayleigh is... You know, you're not entirely sure why the Emperor has need of your services here, only that that you've been directed to come here and get your, your marching orders from from him, and in exchange, the Emperor has, or, or the Emperor's uh, uh, associates um, shall help you in your further endeavors. Um, so, it's about midday, give or take. Um, the square is uh, filled with people doing shopping, moving to other parts of town. Um, there are a few semi-permanent booths here and tents, um, but there are a lot of temporary ones as well. Um, they sell all manner of different goods. Um, many different sorts of people who are peddling their wares on blankets or on tables. Um, O'Reilly is here. He uh, actually has a... Uh, a cover story of sort as one of the merchants here um, so he can do the emperor's work without drawing too much attention to himself from from individuals who might be inclined to uh, disturb the emperor's work so as the afternoon wanes the shadows of the three-story gray stone buildings that form the perimeter of the square are lengthening the calls of the vendors and beggars are getting louder and, and suddenly you hear a, a crash that rises above the, the babble of voices in the square. On the western side of the square, you see that there's a, a wagon full of pumpkins uh, that's flipped backward. You're not entirely sure how, but it's filled the entire ro uh, roadway with the, the tumbling gourds. First, people seem to be laughing. And then someone screams... The, the crowd in between you and the uh, and, and everything else parts and you see in the northeast corner that that someone or perhaps something is fighting with a silver shield town watchman uh, near one of the other unblocked exits and it's the woman next to them that's screaming and pointing um, you you see why she's screaming as this this unknown individual lunges forward and and takes a bite 
out of the guards' throats, pulling back with blood-stained jaws. Then even more yells erupt. As you see figures from the, the stairwell in the center of square, the, the sewer overflow, figures start to emerge from this, and they also uh, attack the Silver Shield guards. The, they're human or humanoid, but you can tell now that these ones are closer that they are no longer among the living. You see that each has oh. large open wounds where entrails or a lung or an eye are missing. Then you hear a, a cracking sound behind you, almost like a, a mini thunderclap. And you turn around to see Rayleigh behind you, and he's surrounded in this whirlwind of dark shadows and vapors. And at the same time, the group of zombies ahead of you turns almost in lockstep towards them, towards Rayleigh, and starts to advance towards you. The, the townsfolk... In, be in between, scramble to get out of the way, though not all of them do. Um, some of the crowd r f runs to flee by the the uh, the uh, pumpkins, and they find that even that has not been uh, even that is not free from the undead. As a a zombie wearing a pumpkin that's had this leering, disturbing face carved into it stands up from among the pumpkins and begins throwing them at the crowd and at uh, towards this, this you. This world does not have a Halloween tradition, but here we are at the very start. <laughs> it <laughs> does. <laughs> so, so, this is Halloween. Hey, did we already talk to this Rayleigh guy? You or, you, have, you were just meeting him. You'd, you'd done your introductions? We shook hands. Yeah, it said, yeah, we're here for this. And it's like, uh... And then then things got ugly. Oh, so, this isn't proper at all. No, not at all very proper. All right, so... With that being in mind... My favorite time of day. Ah, uh, I did it again. All right, hold on, let me fix this real quick. Because right now you don't have hit point bars like you're supposed to. We well, you should be able to... That means they're invincible, right? No. Yeah, was... That was that, that, that's that's, that's why good. they're getting fixed is because uh, now you are now you are definitely vincible, not invincible, but vincible. If any of you, so I'm guessing fixed, our, our green one is oh good. The, the, the pumpkin hurler has a pumpkin head. He so does happy. indeed have a pumpkin head, and he's picking oh, up pumpkins weird. from around here and just chucking them in your general direction. So like with it. that in mind, let's get initiative from everybody, shall we? Yes, sir. So the way initiative works uh, is you will click on your token, and then on your character sheet there's an initiative button. Um, just hit that, and it will add things automatically. And I click it twice, <laughs> correct? Uh, no, you should only need to click it once. Okay. Wow, wow Jesus. <laughs> are you are you sure that you are the actual real... Revan Fuego, because that's... Uh, yeah, right? I think that's well, more no, than I, your last four or five rolls combined. I blew it on initiative. Yeah, oh, that's true. <laughs> or on, we a, go. Yeah, or on a saving on throw. <laughs> it looks like it's still only rolled it once for me. Uh, okay, go ahead and roll it a second time, then. And we'll take it the higher of the two. Okay. Yes. Saving versus tummy ache 20. Yep, Easy. all right. It, yeah, it's, it's, it, well, it took the second of the two, but either way. Okay, Work let me well. roll the zombie relation. Uh, do, 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 zero and one, respectively. One. Okay, they've got 15. This is a fine time for me to mention that my connection to the Imperials uh, is that I... I well... I was a medic for the Imperials. Um, I, I'm, I'm sort of a failed Imperial medic because there's this weird thing. I, whenever I'm dealing with blood, I sort of get angry, and so <laughs> it was it was difficult to treat people. But I could probably probably slap a bandage on you, and when I say slap a bandage, I mean slap we'll a bandage. Slap <laughs> Did you kill me? <laughs> oh my god! No. Oh. Uh, <laughs> You died, in my arms. you died. You died in my arms. 
and then you came back. You're a success story! <laughs> so that means you think you are the best medic, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure I know I'm not. I, this guy really confuses me. <laughs> it's like, he I should be, be dead. I did my... treat him, but... Yeah, it's true. Um, I, I'm not that crazy, but you're right. I may be a little suspicious, so... Something went right for a change. All right, Whoa. it is top of round one. The escalation die is at zero, or as I like to put it, it is at frowny face. So throw your roll a natural twenty, and he still doesn't get to go first. Nope, no, he is he re are you reading a book, Thorir? <laughs> All right, Amon, you are up first. I was too uh, uh, too busy cracking my joints and getting excited. <laughs> uh. A pair of panicked uh, magic missiles at uh, <laughs> Shuffler, uh, Zombie Shuffler 1 and 3. See, panic okay. trumps excitement. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm ah! not <laughs> Awesome. Well rolled, well rolled. Oh, yeah, there's some dice there. And just, yeah, four for four points. I got two of them, I guess. <clears throat> All right, there are yeah, two of these. Ten of these. Uh, as you might have expected, these are indeed mooks. Yes, my favorite. So, four. Four, the best. four damage. All right, Thorier, you're up. Alrighty, uh, how far are you going to let me get here? Uh, you can engage. I uh, Well, which which one do you want to go after? Uh, this guy's fine. Oh, yeah, you're totally fine. <laughs> if you're going for, like, putrefying zombie one, then no. Oh, no. There's there's a lot of bodies in between. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it, the interception rules are my friend at that point. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's uh, see what I'm made of here. I'm pretty sure you're made of meat. Mm. Yeah, but you're also made of steel, it would seem. All right. <laughs> eight, 11 damage. Describe how this one dies horribly. Or... Redies horribly. It's the the nomenclature is always weird when it comes to undead. It is. It's it's almost frustrating. But uh, no, it's just my my excitement overwhelms me. I see the magic missile go off, so that's that's the it's that's like the trigger. It's like fireworks. <laughs> it's it's time. I got my axe above my head. I'm not even running. I'm prancing, and I just cleave this guy in half and start laughing. <laughs> All right. Just one second. Hitchfying Zombie One has decided that he wants to take a bite out of you, or she wants to take a bite out of you. Uh, and, she, and she will try to do exactly that. This is. versus AC. Yep. Which is not that impressive for me, so. Uh, and Ooh. yes, that will indeed hit. You, uh, Without a doubt. 26, I'm pretty sure, is going to hit. Uh, nope. You will take uh, do, do, do. you will take six plus you will take nine damage in total but in in trying to mangle you the, the zombie has actually done harm to itself yay yeah Ooh. it kind of kind of breaks some of its teeth on your armor and it get, I mean it gets through the armor but it still broke some of its teeth you cannot bite through iron it's leaking all over your armor. Uh, yeah. Clovis, you are up. Alright. I will move up to this guy, if that's okay. Yep. Oh. And I'll go ahead and I'll swing at him. Make it so... <laughs> well, uh, do, you want, do you like the good news or the bad news? Uh-oh. <laughs> Um, I think I can tell what they are. So. Yeah, so you do indeed hit. Uh, you also just do two damage. <laughs> All right. So you come up and savagely up give one a piece of cut. And then, then the horde descends. Uh -oh. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, this guy can get over to you. This guy can get over to you. Whoa. These guys, Whoa. since you since you're nice and Whoa. boarded up, you guys are gonna. These guys are gonna come over here. I will intercept. 
These are fast zombies. Well, they, they can't get all the way down to you guys. Oh, they, they can't. Got no, it. They're, they're just, this, yeah, they're right. double moving to you right here. Excellent. All right. All right, so there are many, many rotting... Flavor moves. conflict on that. They're going a little fast for zombies. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. I mean, is that really shuffling? <laughs> yeah, they're called shuffling. <laughs> They, this I is mean, like kind of a speed shuffle there. Yeah, they're shuffling uh, really quick. They just watched that. Uh, what, what was the music video? The uh, thriller? thriller. Yeah. It's like old people at the mall. Yeah, you, you got to get there with the deals, and you guys are the fleshy, fleshy, meaty deals. Mm. Um. So let's see. There are one, two, three. Oh, there are three on each video. Okay, excellent. That makes it that makes easier. easy. Three dice modifier is what do they have? They got plus five. <coughs> oh yeah, yeah. The, the, these are on Clavis, so sixteen, twenty-five, and twenty respectively. One hits. Ooh, but it is the natural twenty at least. It is uh, the natural twenty. So you will take six plus. Oh wait, hold on. Yeah, six plus a D four. You will take 10 damage from that. And then it is on the Barbarian. Uh, 24, 13, and 16 on Thorir. I think all of those hit. Yeah, I only have an AC 15, so you got me. All right, well, the 13 misses then. Oh, Everything the 13, else sorry. Uh, all right, so you will take uh, 6 plus, you will also take a D4. Uh, all right, you will take eight damage in total as the horde descends upon you. And then it is the putrefying zombie two. Mm, you're pretty well hoarded. They're gonna come. Actually, she's gonna come after the halfling. Would you like to intercept, or would you like to let the halfling get munched? Uh, I will ask you one question. I'm, I think I'm definitely gonna intercept. My question is: Was there something weird going on with the halfling? You said that there were spirits or something grabbing her. Yes, there's this, the, this weird, dark, magical aura around him, like and purple vapors coming up. It's still there, but it's faded a little bit. But you can right. tell that even as the zombies are trying to to eat yep. your comrades, yep. you can see that they're definitely still looking over at the halfling. Like, all right, as so soon as I... we eat you, we're coming to you. I was reaching out to the halfling, sort of saying, "Hey, hey, hey! You okay there, little buddy? You okay? Um, ready to use some medic skills?" But when yeah, the zombie Ray comes Ray up, Rayleigh's like, "I, I, I feel... understand that better, so I'll intercept." Yeah, Rayleigh's looking at himself like, you know, like something happened to him, but he doesn't look like he's injured or anyway or anything like that. Okay. All right. I so, yep. Uh, the rotting fist comes your direction. This also versus AC. Twenty-one versus AC. Ow. Mm -hmm. uh, you will take uh, six damage. All right. And that is the ext and then it is your turn. All right. Um, I totally intended not to rage, but I've been using my. I'm a dwarven chef, and I've been using my time at the market to gather stuff for dinner tonight. And this zombie stuck their putrefying hand straight into the bag full of stuff and so i'm raging okay. i'm going i'm gonna i'm gonna before, rage and hit before before you make your attack roll me a saving throw an easy save easy easy all right and in fact i it has been so long since i played with roll 20 um where do i hit do i just roll uh, what you what we can have you do is you can either use like hit the, the little die over there. Yeah, if there's the die over there is probably the best way to do it. All right, I'll do it. Oh, 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 you have you have you have failed, good sir. So not only do they they put their their putrefying. Hand <laughs> right in the guard, but some of it gets like right on your face. Ah! And you are actually going to be taking a minus two penalty on attacks and damage against that this zombie this turn. I am. I, I um. Just it tastes it. really terrible, but I hope to swing through. 
So, Oof. yeah. All right. So then I uh, go ahead and hit the melee basic attack twice. Uh, no. You will hit it once, rage and then attack. you hit the, yeah, they hit the rages the second one. Rage attack. Here I go. All right. And do I hit the creature first, or do what do no. I do In this that? case, you just hit the, the attack. Okay. Only for the initiative do you need to click on Oh, I think first. I need to put in a minus two in the modifier then. Is that what you told me? Uh, we'll just take it off from the total. Otherwise, it okay. kind of breaks. All right. It's not really designed to have to attack them. <laughs> okay. The, all right. So 22, that's that's still going to hit. I... Uh, I'm spitting cinnamon. Yeah. All right. Now you're melee basic as well. You'll you'll end up doing both for the rage. I got it. Oh boy, that's a crit. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a crit. That mm. is a crit. Um, mm -hmm. Actually, in this case, uh, you had selected your dagger. Is that what you wanted to be using, or did you want to use the great no, axe? No, okay. I apologize. That's quite all right. Uh, we'll roll the the. I'll roll it, the great axe. It's plus four. Oh, I see. I did just hit the melee base. Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah. It was time. no, it's okay. So D10 plus four. All right, so you will do 26 damage to this zombie shuffler. And you you mangle this creature. I mean, it doesn't feel like there's really a lot there, but but what is there? You're tearing apart with your your axe. And yet, it still endures. It is still endures. Case? I mean, when you don't feel pain, when you're already <laughs> kind of dead, it takes a little bit more to kill you. That's kind of what makes the whole idea of them Wait, scary, um, in a way. Yeah. All right. You do, actually, no. You know, I, I that was my bad. This is a zombie. <laughs> I was wondering. I wasn't going to pull that on you. I no, was, I, I remember. I was it. thinking. Oh, I remembered it for the shufflers, but it's, yes, it skipped my mind for the the. All right, so just describe how you utterly okay. destroy this this putrefying creature. Well, the I, I I chopped off its legs. It didn't realize it was dead. It kept on trying to reach the halfling, and at that point, I stepped on its head. Ooh, and it's dead. crunchy. Crunchy. And I, I'm wiping off my face, trying to, um, uh, throwing the bag away in disgust. Yeah, it's, one of my, yeah. it's pretty vile. Not as bad as some of the stuff. So I'll just say, I'm Dragon sorry, Ball. guys. Dinner. We're, we're, somebody else has oh, got to cook dinner. Whoa. <laughs> Unnecessary. I tried. All right, the zombie pumpkin hurler. Let's see. It is. It's going to move forward first. And then... On the bright side, I think there's going to be a lot of root vegetables. <laughs> yeah. The, 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 you, it might be pulpy, though. Um, <laughs> let's see. All right, Philip, evens or odds? Um, <laughs> oh, evens. boy. You have chosen wisely. Thorier, you're getting pumpkin thrown towards you. Since I'm going to be getting smashed with a pumpkin, can we just change the name of the zombie pumpkin hurler to Jack? Because that little... The, the token is perfect. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. All right. This is going to be versus AC. Oh, and he oh. will indeed miss. Oh, go. It's a good thing he wasn't dual wielding. Otherwise, he would <clears throat> th get thrown another one. <laughs> it's true. Two wielding pumpkins. <laughs> All right. Top of round two. The escalation dies at one. Amen. you are up. Uh, all right, then. Well, I guess, I mean, how much in... Yeah, I'll just go with the same magic missile. At the the two uh, zombies in front of me, the shufflers, so what a... There we go. All right, PPOA. Ugh, there's my rolls. Yeah, that, that's, that's much better. However... Because they are mooks, you do kill one. Which one would you like to die with your... How, how despite your incompetence, do you manage to kill one? <laughs> it's more panic, and it's like, uh, go away! And he just kind of throws throws a magic missile, almost like, like lateral style at him. <laughs> oh. The zombie shuffler ate, and it manages to lodge in the head and kind of do an after explosion and pops his little head. I like the idea that it goes in through his eye and bounces around for a while and is like yeah. putting lights through his eye. Zombie and then, rave. And then there's a pop. Nice. Okay, uh, anything else from Eamon? 
uh, moving towards the uh, halfling to kind of be like there. Okay. Thorier, you have many, many friends. I do. Many I do. Many friends. And when in doubt, hit the mooks. It's so, hard. Are you the mook mulcher today? I am the mook mulcher. <laughs> yeah, you really are. <laughs> All right. All right. So that is fourteen damage. You just you kill at least one. Which one would you like to you know, to kill? Uh, let's go with this guy. This guy. Down All right. There. Um, and I'm gonna use my uh, unstoppable. So once per battle, I can heal with the recovery after hitting with the melee attack. Okay, go for it. Ooh. Roll them their recoveries. Nice. nice. Max. All right, so no more staggered for me. Nope. All right, anything else from Thorier? Um, nope. I'm happy where I'm at. All right. Uh, actually, you I should... shake my fist angrily. <laughs> you should have had to roll a save there, but eh, whatever, you crit anyway, so it doesn't matter. Putrefying Zombie 1 is still trying to sup on your delicious flesh for certain values of delicious. Uh, apparently you're not nearly as tasty as you were before the, she broke her teeth on your armor. She, she's looking at me all, all crazy-eyed, and I point a finger at her and hit her on the nose with it and say, No! <laughs> <laughs> Lobbers on your armor there. I mean, <laughs> you are the crushing finger. That's true. <laughs> crushing finger. Uh, I, well, in, in that, but make me a make me a save. Roll me a, a straight d twenty. God. <laughs> Sean brings he brings fantastic dice to these games every time. He really does. All right, roll me d four plus your strength plus level. Sparkly. Roll me, whoa, whoa hold yeah, on, what? D4, <laughs> D4, D4 plus your strength what? plus level, so I think that's plus four. Yeah, that looks like plus four. Alright, right, you do seven additional damage to that zombie. As you, you go to poke it in the nose. Counter poke. You go to poke it in the nose, and you just go right through. All the way through, and kind of just poke around its brain a little bit. Oh, dude, that's, that's like that's war paint right in my face right now. <laughs> you know, given how Thoria was, I'm not sure that they, they might have noticed that dinner was not quite right. <laughs> uh, Clavis, you also have many, many friends. I'd just like I to like talk about in one second the crowd in the background. People were running away, and now they're going, Is that the Iron Dwarf? Is that is that him? <laughs> Some of them are. The, it's, it's mostly the... Uh, the uh, the, the vendors and they're like they've gone from selling stuff to going all right who's got the iron dwarf who's got the iron dwarf all right yeah. oh D &D. and if this if this were a movie it would cut to like a really far away view of the of the square and you would just hear like these tiny little tuscan raider sounds echoing <laughs> off the brick <laughs> nice all right well i will Try and slice these dudes. Slice and some from, dice and julienne fries. And do I need to add anything to the modifiers? No, not for the escalation die. Actually, okay, that, that 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 you do remind me. Roll the roll your saving throw first. Saving throw. Um. Wait. What well, is this? What is this save against exactly? Um, actually, in this Thanks. case, you do not have it. It's only the, pe the petrifying ones. It's, uh, mm -hmm. for the putrefying human zombies, it's open yep. putrefying wounds. Ew! Ew. Okay. Gross! Yeah. Uh, but you are not engaged with any of those at the moment, so you're fine. So go ahead and make your attack. Um, and then make a little snide comment about Thorir being, being foul and disgusting. So. <laughs> Barbarian, duh. He, he's, he's, I mean, at this point, it's just water off the duck's back. Uh, unfortunately, you will miss... Oh no! Thirteen. Yeah, I mean, he, he's at this point. He's probably going. I may be crude and disgusting, but at least I've killed a few of them. <laughs> All right. It's not yeah. my fault. These things are gross. Clovis, uh, I mean, it, it just blends them with his smell. Is there something about the experience of death that is like throwing you off here? I mean, you know, it's like you were you were dead once, just like these guys. Oh, oh. brothers. Oh. <laughs> It was just a little rusty. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a little rusty. It's been a minute. You're not dead yet. You you realize that they're not really well, attacking you. They're they're patting yeah. you on the back. They're they're going. You know, it's it's been so long since we've seen you. <laughs> Who are you? They're people? just a little more enthusiastic than you than you would like. Oh no. Uh. <laughs> and sp on, on that that note, so let's let's get these attacks out of the way on you. Uh, yeah, the monkey. So these are plus five. Paladin armor. Uh, let's see, 22, 24, and fourteen. Two hits. Two hits. All right, you will take six plus two d four damage. I am staggered. All right, you will take uh, nine damage in total. Thankfully, they will also kind of break themselves a little bit on you. To the wow, to the tune of seven. What? Wow. Uh, it, <laughs> oh, Mooks. I love Mooks. All right, describe how one <laughs> killed Bites itself. itself to yeah, death. killed itself br br on you as <laughs> as it was trying to to pat you on the back or the head. Or yeah, it's been more you know, butts here. I do have some little spikes coming off the armor, so I just kind of kept like smashing further up the arm, trying to pat it, and just kept until it's off head butting it. In. Yeah, just <laughs> <laughs> these are the most metal of all. So, so are you wearing it now? <laughs> on your shoulder? Nice. Yes, I am. Yeah. Really. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's... It is. And it's not even outward like it were like was cool. It was it's the skull is facing your shoulder. <laughs> You've got it inverted. It's just saying, hey, what's going on? Alright. Uh two attacks on Thorier. Two, five. Ooh boy. Um twenty one yeah. and not. Is, you I got think, one hit. Yes, so you will take three plus three. You will take six damage, and they will take... <laughs> they will take some damage, too. Though this one does not smash itself back into death. Not quite, anyway. It's most of the way there, though. Alright, Putrefying Zombie 2 is dead. Or, yeah, again, the nomenclature. And then Gudrun, it's your turn. <laughs> All right, um, Clovis, are you badly enough hurt that you need a medic? Uh, no. I <laughs> no. can lay on hands next. To I'm no. Are you sure? <laughs> okay. Are you really right. sure? Positive, because I, I I could be there in a second. I I think I'll be fine. Oh, okay. All right. Please don't heal me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm... So one, you only have two Please on you don't right now, right? Me? <laughs> Please I have don't three heal me. on me. Oh wait! I thought one was dead. Oh, the one is dead. Sorry. Yes. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There, that 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 there one is. That's either dead or Fred. Fred's on. Well, he's shoulder. still on me, but yeah, yeah, <laughs> right. Uh, okay. So I um, I'm suspecting I can't make it all the way to the pumpkin hurler. Correct? Uh, not without moving twice. No. So I'm going to um, make sure that I'm going to go take out the one that's um, number nine. That okay. seems to be closer to Eamon. All right. All right. And I'm raging, so I'll do that thing again. Uh, let's see. Up, 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 up. Rage attack. Rage attack. Rage attack. Bing. And escalation die is figured in. Uh, it should be yes. Okay. All right. And uh, then roll your melee basic as the other dice. Basically. Sure. Huh. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, this one's definitely dead, regardless. Uh, at least if it will let me. There we go. And you've done 12 damage in total, which I don't know if that kills more than one. I, no, it does not. Uh, so you, so, you so no fantastic stories about flying parts needed. No, right. not in this particular case. <laughs> Close, but not quite. <laughs> All right. Uh, anything else from Gudrun? I'm. Um, I'm just reaching in my backpack to make sure that the bandages that I intend to slap onto Clovis are not too, too covered in putrefying <laughs> zombie stuff. So you reach back there and you and you confirm. Oh, oh yeah, these are. Uh... <laughs> oh. Oh, 
no! Not not the bandages too. I those damn zombies okay. getting everywhere. Now I'm really mad. <laughs> all right, zombie pumpkin hurdler, aka Jack. Uh, all right, this time Sean gets to decide evens or odds. Uh. Eh. Let's just stick with odds. I mean, odds hit me last time. I... Yeah, and they're good. Yeah, it hits again. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The Iron Dwarf shall not be bested this day. All right. So, Clovis, or Clovis, you are the target of this this gourd. Oh, no. I don't want to roll seven dice. That would, Whoa. That would, <laughs> as amusing as that would be, it would not be quite right. All right. 16 will nope. miss. So, the gourd splatters itself all over your shield. And, the other and then, Eamon, it's your turn as the escalation goes up to two. Uh, let, I'm actually going to go for that putrefying zombie uh, on uh, Thorir. Okay. Uh, just magic my slogan. <sighs> see, your bad rolls are a consequence of you not doing anything but magic missile. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously! <laughs> I'm back saving the halfling! Do you have a efficiency expert as one of your backgrounds? <laughs> <laughs> Magic. Right. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else from Eamon? No, Pastor. You, you've done quite enough, thank you. Eamon is withholding. I, uh, we've all seen what Eamon's capable of. Eamon's capable of magnificent things. He must be readying a really huge spell! <laughs> he's he's the gun shop owner in the, the zombie apocalypse who only has the 22. <laughs> and, and... Because it's more artistic. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Thorir, you're up. Alright. Let's see if I can mop up the rest of the mooks here. Or at least the rest of the mooks on me. Mm, Ooh. No. No, you cannot. However, you still kill one anyway. So how, despite your incompetence, <laughs> you managed to kill one anyway? Um, well, I would say that I take a swing at it, and I miss, but my, my beard is kind of flapping around, and it gets caught up <laughs> in my beard as I just kind of, like, whiff it. <laughs> and my beard slams it to the ground, and it just splatters. <laughs> okay. I approve of this. All right. Putrefying Zombie 1. Uh, it still wants your tasty, tasty tour flesh. Then which, come and which, get it. Oh, which I it spoke will to get. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it came and got. It really did. Uh, take oh, I was just kidding. Take, take another six damage. Six damage, it and, is. And then, Clavis, you are up. All right. Let's see. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> I do believe that is the correct. <laughs> oh. 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 The thing about these F20 games is so <laughs> magnificent, is that there's so much strategy and there's so much ability to like really shape your destiny. It's never out of your... Oh, wait, what just happened? Oh. Uh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Was cool. <laughs> you, you will not be tagging an aspect to win on this one, I'm afraid. Oh, so harsh. Rob, you're a maniacal genius, and even for you, that is cold. Oh. <laughs> but funny, I and know. that's the important thing. <laughs> that's how you can tell he's a GM for the most part. I know yeah. I am. It's so hard not to just keep talking. <laughs> I gotta mute myself, but it's not my turn. Alright, oh. zombie shufflers, there are still a few of them around. This one's gonna come over and munch on the half -lane. Oh, uh, <laughs> The half -lane. Oh, that guy! We hardly oh, know him! I don't know. Alright, first, two munchings on the paladin. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Ugh. When that guy tries to munch on the half -lane, can I intercept? Uh, yes, you can, actually. Because he was between... Yeah, you can. Yo. Alrighty, then. All right, so you'll intercept right around right there. there All right. All right. Uh, let's do that one real quick. Five, eleven. They are in such a hurry to, to get to the halfling that they're just not really ready to deal with you. I was actually shocked 
that they didn't hit me. This is a first. Yeah, uh, the, the rules have not been fantastic for them this round, considering <laughs> that the ones attacking Clovis rolled a 1 and a 2. Um, I'll take it. So the one that rolls a 1, let's see, what does he do? He has to break himself, at least in part, on you, right? <laughs> I <laughs> uh, That's all around, man. Yeah. That, yeah. Kill yeah. them when they're killing themselves. <laughs> He, he kind of just bruises his knuckles on you. He 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 hits you and goes. Oh. <laughs> uh, and then there is one still more on Thorier. Let's see. This will I'm sure be my natural twenty. No, but it's still a hit. No, still hits. Uh, you'll take another three points of damage, sir. All right. And then Gudrun, you're up. Just under staggered. Okay. Well, zombie. Zombie came to the wrong place, I guess. Come on, I want to. I want to crit, so you have to describe how multiples die. Uh, you know that would be wonderful. It would just be great, but we'll find out. All right, here we go. Maximum hilarity. All right, rage attack. Uh, 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 and melee basic attack. Uh, oh. <laughs> 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 yes. All right, so so the dwarven blender, <laughs> pretty much yes. Uh, a blender, I like that. That's actually that's catchy. I wonder if there would be a way to blend ingredients for dinners. <laughs> mm. Mm. All right, wow. you. If I you, move this axe fast enough, yeah, it's true. All right. By so, the way, this is the same axe I've used to cook dinner, which is a little disturbing when you think about it. Anyway, Again, it really it de it describes why Thorier really didn't have much of a a reaction to the the putrefied zombie flesh. Honestly, that's right. Oh, no, I'm the cook. <laughs> All right, so I think I get to move. Uh, yes, you do. Um, you have, Thorier, are you, you have hurt? Killed two of them. So uh, I'm staggered right now. I'm, I'm trying to, to I'm trying to cut my way through these guys so I can get you know the pumpkins that are relatively clean. Well, I'm, I'm running up and engaging, either engaging this putrefying zombie and or about to like try to like do some medical first aid on you if I think you're going down. <laughs> so there we are. But but I've sadly I've run out of actions. Yes. So but, I run. But you do get to describe how one of these two has died as you splatter that oh. one back there. Oh well, in that case, let's just move me like this. If that, if it would work for you, right there. I didn't see where you moved, actually. Uh, oh, there we go. So, yes. what's happening is, is that I actually was planning to run up to Thorir, but I hit a patch of entrails, skidded, put my hand out to stop myself, and just slammed <laughs> that <laughs> thing in the forehead. <laughs> <and it went. laughs> so, yep. Okay. <laughs> Ah, uh, the old entrails gag. Yeah, and it I is. say, and, and it's like, now I'm like next to Clovis. Safe! Well, good times! <laughs> and now there are three of you, so let's see, Clovis is one to two, Gudrun is three to four, and Thorir is five and six. Four, it's Gudrun, incoming gourds. It's about time. It's, Jack sucks it's, at pumpkin tossing. He really well, does. I mean, the part of the problem is he doesn't really have hands, so he's, he's a just terrible kinda, pumpkin chunker. Mm. He probably should take that pumpkin off his head, but that would be a problem. Yeah, <laughs> with it. Oh, yeah he's well. just going to pull his head off and throw that at us. <laughs> Wait, actually, he should do that. <laughs> <laughs> he should. It should be lit on fire first, though. All right. Oh, hey, Thor, you're not. your head's not on fire, is it? Uh, not yet. Not, not raging. Yet. Doesn't seem... Yeah. Oh. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm too jolly right now. I'm not <laughs> too, too jolly. I'm having too much fun. I'm having a really good time. time. <laughs> All right. <laughs> top of the round. Escalation dies at three. Amen. You're up. Well, now that uh, all of the immediate threats have been completely and utterly butchered by someone else, uh, Amen can get a clear head and decide to throw an acid arrow at the zombie pumpkin hurler. Woohoo! Okay. Woohoo! All right, yeah, 19 cool. versus yeah. PD will indeed hit. Your, your damage roll, yeah, your your damage roll is very you. Um, but yes, 15 damage and 
Five ongoing. Okay. Five. <coughs> and he'll ask the halfling if he's all right. Green. Are you doing okay? And he's sitting there going, yeah, yeah, I'm... Well, I mean, for now I am. I'm... <laughs> and he still seems very unsettled by this whole thing. Like, like, like he... He might be used to being attacked, but he's not used to being attacked quite like this, is the impression that you get. Yeah, this is a dead man's party. All right, that's the end of my turn. All right, Thorir, you're up. All right. Uh, do I want to try to mop him up again? Well, you yeah, you know what? It's happening. All right. We're going to do it. Are you? Are you really? No. No. No, you're not. No. No, I'm not. Mm -hmm. uh, but I am going to use... Oh, no. That's once per battle. Mm -hmm. Don't listen to me. Never mind. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> let me see. Let's see. I think I have the best... Uh, uh, most appropriate thing for, for that. Let me see. Oh, does, does the one point kill him? No. Oh, okay. I was I like, would, wait a minute. I was gonna, I was gonna play a, 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 the lo the losing horn from Price is Right, but unfortunately, ball, 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 ball. yeah, well, did, guys, it decided oh, not to work. I'm gonna go to bed now. <laughs> <laughs> Future fighting zombie one. All right. Um, nom, nom, nom. Oh my God, dear God, what happened to you people? Well, you died. I think this is really what happened there. Putrefying Zombie 1 does absolutely nothing again. And then there's Clovis. So what, maybe, is it possible that you're using a D10 by mistake? No, no, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm You're using, using a D20? Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, all right. Good time. <laughs> <laughs> the snark, man. Given the rolls, I might be using a D4. <laughs> oh. Uh, all right, Clovis, you're up. Just not even gonna preface this. <laughs> which, is, which, is, which is really for the best, I think. <laughs> Clovis! Okay. Look. I, I, I... Hey, if you would have actually hit me, you double your hit, though, so, I mean. <laughs> it's, not even, like, it's not even that, like, I rolled bad on the. Like, I rolled bad on both. Yeah. Yeah. I, oh, yeah. No. I was going to offer you a, 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 a deal so that you could hit and deal damage if you took some kind of consequence, and then I realized how much damage you were going to do with it. So I'm yeah. not sure that you would be yeah, interested. It's way worth it. So you continue to give the zombie a series of very unpleasant paper cuts. Oh, they smell! I can't help it. Like I have a refined. Palate. So, so you're basically like going these, like this. These, <laughs> <laughs> like these barbar literal barbarians, you know. Phil, we have like two panic Nancys and two barbarians that just love getting covered in everything. Yeah, and I which just which they are. Worst, so I'm gonna I'm gonna apologize forthwith, but. Flavis the Novice. Flavis the Novice. Oh, 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 I, oh, you know, God, I hate you so much right now. I, I actually have to do this. Good, Gudrun is really concerned. Oh. Because, all right, now, now you're talking. Oh, to oh. renamed appropriately. Nice. I'm sorry, Phil. I'm gonna find some way to get you back. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta figure out a way to get rid of that name. Only five hundred miles away. I'm gonna get rid. of more pressing issues at this point. Oh no! So, so in that oh, battle where you died, did you die like to the first arrow that was shot? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I remember it being pretty epic, but uh, you know, maybe that's not the only thing I don't remember. <laughs> maybe I don't remember that too. Uh, All right, yeah, zombie skinned me on the battlefield. I should be fired immediately. Zombie <laughs> shufflers on Clovis. <laughs> Thankfully, you are not hit by it. And then I'm Thorier. You will be, however, hit by it. Uh, I deserve it, that one. Yeah, just a little bit. Take another three damage. Uh, Gudrun, you're up. All right. I'm raging. I'm really, really angry, and I really shouldn't be able to tell that much what's going on. But I'm kind of concerned about Clovis. I mean, he's... 
he's he's sort of over here like dancing with this thing a little bit, right? So as I swing my axe, I grab his hand in solidarity and and like th throw him through the throw him throw him throw his sword through the zombie as then I'm cutting from the other side. I mean I'm I'm just like I'm there for him. He needs he needs Oh mama. Yeah. I like mama the idea where you're throwing him through him. Yeah, first. I'm throwing him. It's like it's kind of like I think there's something wrong. You need to be over there cuz I'm swinging right through that place. So maybe get away, but maybe if you keep your sword out, you'll cut it or something. So <laughs> yeah. Also, he gets a plus 1 against that guy. Who does? You get a plus one to hit oh, because you're divine domain of leadership. Oh, yeah. oh, so in fact, you want to be thrown a little bit, probably. All right. Yes. All right, this is good. We've 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 done this before, sort of. All right, <laughs> uh, this is the first time doing it intentionally. Although there are the times where after a really long night of drinking, and I noticed there's really only one zombie there, so maybe I throw but whatever. Him, threw him to the other one. I, you know, I just I. I, I do what I do what my heart commands. I'm a raging barbarian, not a strategist. <laughs> my leader has shown the way. And uh, let's see what happens. As a spirit. So Aaron, just to fill you in, uh, that recovery roll for me was me using my racial power. Oh, okay. Uh, that's your best shot. I figured as much. Okay. All right. So there's the 23, <clears throat> and mm -hmm. that one's Looks only like a 10, you. but you still do hit. Okay. And it is indeed enough to kill this one. So describe describe well, how this works. Okay, sure. Um, I, Phil, Clovis, uh, your sword goes through it just a second before my axe, because you you I I you, it, this was. Your your sword was already on the way. You pointed the way, and I'm spinning around and like, yeah. So there we are. That's my story. That's my story, and uh, I'm sticking. To I, it. I, I, maybe <laughs> this will inspire me to go murder the the pumpkin hunter. Yeah, yes, hard. quite possibly. Yeah, well, yes. All right. So yeah. yeah. So you're over here now. Uh, roll me a saving throw there, uh, Clovis. Just a regular saving throw. Saving versus embarrassment. No, you're oh, no, you know exactly what this is, Justin, because I've done this before. Uh oh, uh, so you, Clovis, you never really wondered before what rotting, putrefying flesh tasted like. Now you don't have to wonder anymore. <laughs> you get a face full of it and a mouth full of it, and you're going to be picking it out of your your hair for. A little longer than you'd like. There's something in the orifice of Clavus the novice. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> pumpkin hurler. He's gonna come up Clavis and take his Clavis. head off and try to smash you with it. Oh, that doesn't seem practical. <laughs> All right. Uh, which one is this? This is two, 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 plus seven. Okay. I'm so used to playing like a more complicated class. I'm like, I hit stuff, and what else can I do? <laughs> yeah, like, right. oh, yeah. that's right. Nothing. Yeah, you you hit stuff. <laughs> that's pretty much the extent of it. I'm and gonna punch it. First level Thanks, Eddie Armstrong, Bastion, Paladin. So, all right, like I've been hitting two turns. Thankfully, as you're trying to wipe the the goo from your face, <laughs> your shield is up, so the 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 zombie pumpkin just smashes its pumpkin head against the shield. Before you even realized it was there. Oh, oh. oh the skilled combatant. Was <laughs> 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 well, and gosh darn it, people like me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, escalation dies at four. Amen, you are up. Actually, I gotta. Uh, I have to roll my saving throw for that real quick. Acid. Nope, it's acid. still. It's still aciding. Yeah. <laughs> Baby burn. Uh, Amen is gonna move up. A little bit, and then go for Ray of Frost on the putrefying zombie. Oh, maybe if it's maybe if it's cooled down, it might not. No, it's still going to be absolutely vile. It's just going to be chunky. Ah, uh, 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 zombie cubes. 
It's like a half half frozen can of Coke or something. Ugh. All right, thirteen damage. Wow, that's uh, so unlike you. I know, right? It's so weird. Uh, Amy gets his head about him, and good run with all of his positive vibes. It uh, <laughs> kind of helps everything out. It's now now the putrefying zombie oh. is kind of slushy. Just notice the damage. It's okay. Uh, oh. Ice ice is good for like sharpening blades to an extent, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, you're about to find out because it's your turn. Yes, and <laughs> I'm gonna test that theory right about now. So I'm gonna be attacking the putrefying zombie. Alrighty. <laughs> Ooh, four. that will indeed hit for another right. nine. The zon the putrefying zombie is staggered. Wow. Dang. I wish it was staggered before. It, 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 it turns out when you don't critically hit them and annihilate them in one shot, they took a little while to get through. Mm. Uh, right, anything mm. else from from Thorier? I think I'm going to try to... No, no, I'm going to stay put. Uh, I'll stay put. All right. Zombie, flesh, yada, yada, yada. Yes, more, more of your delicious flesh. Um, do, 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 you will take six plus d6. Uh oh. You will take nine, and the zombie will take one. I think the zombie came off slightly better in that exchange. A little bit. Then Clovis, Clovis the novice. <laughs> I'm so sorry for that. <laughs> <laughs> well. This is my well, this apology. Kind of earned it. <laughs> <laughs> you could, you could do it. Hey! Oh, <laughs> he certainly did it. Oh. I hit it. So, <laughs> so, so wait a minute. That's a much deeper paper cut. Reason, no, wait, strength is your dump stat. Apparently. Yeah, I think it like, is for the. I didn't make this character. <laughs> Oh, you were really oh, stronger once upon be. a time. Wait a minute, I remember. I know, I Death will do 12. that to you. Death will do that to you. I have strength 12. I'm going to have oh, to actually look are. at that. That doesn't seem right. Oh, hey, you're not a paladin. You're a rogue. I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> All right, so you give it, you give it a, help me either because my dice is You give it a too. much deeper paper cut this time. Wait a minute. His strength is... I have 12, 14, 12, 11, 15, 12. Clavis? Okay. 12, 14. That is really weird. I'm going to have to double check on that because I'm not sure that's the stat array that that's supposed to have. Yeah, that is odd. Because the other paladin mm. does not, and I'm not yeah. sure which one is correct. Off the it almost seems head. like cleric stats. It's yeah. got... I'm looking really quick. Does it have things that... Even the cleric has more strength than that. Oh, it's like you're basically maxed it's not out. My fault. <laughs> I know it's not. You know what? You came back from death, and you were just a little different. It's cool, man. <laughs> just well, I wasn't. We're, not, we're, not, judging. we're not, not judging. We're not judging. Much. Well, I'm judging, but I'm. Oh okay, yeah, we're so. totally judging. I mean, come on. <laughs> All right. Uh, there is a single uh, zombie shuffler still left on Thornton. Thorier, excuse me. That's all right. Uh, 15 versus AC. Does that hit? That is the number. All right, you will take three more damage. And all then right. it is Gudrun's turn. I realize that my friend, my companion, the Iron Dwarf, has elected to stay calm. But things aren't going so well back there. So I turn around. And... I nod to Thorir in the the dwarven um, nod that's a quick jerk, which says, I am about to take your kill and I'm pretending to ask permission. <laughs> 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 and let's see if I, I can live up to that. that you were going to headbutt it instead. No, yeah. yeah that would uh, be awesome. Yeah, that would be, but I, I, I'm trying to hit it with an axe. Uh, yeah. Let's see if I make it. Uh, by the way, you see that? That die down there that says frenzy yes. on the side. Uh -huh. I love that. That's fantastic. Fantastic yeah. image and so appropriate. Oh yeah. Oh, not quite enough that time. Nope. But, but you do hit, and you do a decent amount of damage. Yeah. It's not inconsiderable. 
It's like all my abilities are if you miss with an attack, okay. Heal damage, not necessary. Jeez Louise. <laughs> what uh what abilities do you have? The <laughs> same as you. Yeah. Oh, no. okay. <laughs> So it's just a it's gender slap thing. Um, yeah, it's just a, a, there's a male and a female of every pregen. So I wonder if I could. Um, See uh, what I'm saying? It's hard to it's hard to go back and play the simple class. Yeah, um, <laughs> I'm trying to like I'm trying to totally trying to distract this thing and make it not attack Thorir. So that you know, like. I'm grabbing at it. I'm sticking my my. I'm, I'm pulling its ribs out. You know, it's like ah, thrashing at it. You know, just doing my best. All right, that sounds good. All right. Uh, zombie pumpkin hurdler. More head smashing. Oof! It's about Oof. bloody time. Oh my god. All right, twenty six <laughs> versus AC. He even hits the Definitely. paladin. Yeah. Uh, you will take uh, six damage, and you are weakened as oh. you get more pulpy goop in your eyes. So you're, you're picking up pumpkin seeds from your gross, from your face holes. Oh my! You hear from behind you. Keep those. <laughs> <laughs> the really good roasted. All right. Up of the next round, escalation dies. At escalation five. five? I know. Woo! Okay. <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, you guys are fighting this as though you, there were five of you. Thanks, otherwise, Rob. Otherwise, I would have been. Oh. Oh. Otherwise, there would, I believe. I'm sorry. Did we catch? Were? Did we catch the reason that, that 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 you're blaming this on me on camera? Yes. Yes, we did. Oh well, fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's in canon. All righty then. Uh, Human <laughs> pops across this way to go for a. Hey, by the way, did Pumpkin make his save? Oh, he did not. Uh, thank you for the save reminder. He actually he'll take his damage and then make his save. It burns. <clears throat> uh, do, do, do he is still? It yeah. burns him. He's still dissolving, and he is now staggered as well. Hooray! Uh, Eamon pops up over this way and Ray of Frost on Pumpkin Man. Sir Jack. 16 PD for 12. 16. Actually, I don't know if that does hit. Let me see. Uh, 16 PD will indeed hit. And there's 12. And that's 12 me. more. Now he's. The, the slushy pumpkin side <laughs> is slightly more. Uh, appetizing than the slushy zombie side of that one. Uh, anything else from Eamon? No. Thorir, you're up. It's disengage time. Alright. <laughs> nope. I, I wish I had just chosen to move <laughs> away and take the opportunity. <laughs> oh, no, you, no. St you still can. I can? <laughs> yeah. Okay. You apparently play it different than I do. I'll take it. Yeah, well, you, you, when you roll it, you can then decide whether you're going to take the opportunity attack or not. I'm going to take it. All right, you're going to take two of them. First one, yep. zombie putrefying. Nope. nope. Second one, sh last shuffler. Yes. Oof. All right. All right. Uh, so that's... Uh, oh, I would laugh my ass off if that happened. So you will take D. Th you will three plus one, so you'll take four. I'm zombie Shuffler will take two. Sadly, he did not kill himself <laughs> I'm still there. in an opportunity attack. I'm not dead yet. All right. This is it. We get melee attack and Slayer. All right. So 18 will hit. Uh, so you'll give you 13 damage. Yes. Yes. All right. Describe how they die. Hell yes. Okay. Again, so I did. Still. <laughs> <laughs> I disengage from like I I, I see that uh, the the pumpkin guy is a little uh, flimsy on his legs, and um, I'm like this is it, and I vault over the putrefying zombie. Um, the shuffler goes to punch me in the foot, but his hand falls off and like obliterates on impact with my boot, and I just I I vault over that zombie. It's like slow mo over all my friends, and I come down. <laughs> I just cut him into pieces. Alright. That works. 
Uh, and you have moved, you've made your actions. All right, so that's the end of your turn. Uh, the putrefying zombie. Let's see, let's see if she can do it. She cannot, but she's gonna try anyway. Make an opportunity attack there, Gudrun. Oh, yeah, I guess we did lose sight of our halfling friend. Yeah, just a little bit. <clears throat> uh, okay, give me one second. Alrighty. Well, where did my character sheet go? There it is. Come on. Nice. Mm -hmm. Is it enough? Is it enough? And then bang. Sadly, it is not enough to crit, but it is enough to kill it anyway. <coughs> Hooray! So describe how it dies again. Dies again. Well, uh, I was. I guess I distracted it from Thoria or something for a second, but then it went for the the halfling, and um, it it's just a zombie. I took one step and buried my axe in its head, and now I'm trying to get my axe out on time to hit the other guy. <laughs> so. Actually, I think we can. Uh, well, you know, let's give <laughs> let's give Clavis an attack. Clavis, he has Clavis. a chance Clavis. for Clavis. redemption. You can do it. You can. Wait do a minute, it. pumpkin. Wait, little song. Who's got the song? Pump. You were doing it, Justin. Right? You can do it. You can do it. Clavis, Clavis. Pumpkin <laughs> seeds in the eye. <laughs> Clavis, the man who would not die. <laughs> Clavis <laughs> rolls a one. <laughs> uh, what? What? He he no, it's impossible. No. Wait, the escalation die alone is five. <laughs> and that, yeah. Did Did I rolled a one. No. A one. Five, the escalation die in two one. ones. Yeah, yeah. Huh. That you rolled the uh, minimum possible that you today. could have <laughs> in that situation. Well, I'm <laughs> Uh, so, so you go to take your uh, swing at your sword, and you, you, your sword just, it's, you've been covered in goop, and it just goes flying across the square. Slow-mo. <laughs> Chariots of fire play. It, it, it I'm just going to, I, I'm literally just going to just, like, sit down on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, everybody else so comes over, pats you on the back, just finishes no. it off. I don't think we need to go in a full another round for for a single mook zombie shuffler. So uh, you, guys, you guys, what if we all back off and let Clavis finish this? Deal? <laughs> <laughs> well, first he's gonna have to get his sword. Yeah. He's got dagger, and then he's gonna have to come back. <laughs> okay. Uh, are you, Clavis? Are you okay with us taking your kill? Are you all right? Can we take your kill? Just <laughs> I have to think about my life, man. <laughs> you you I made sit, choices. Now, you need face. to think about them. <laughs> I sit down next to Clavis and I put my arm around him and say, "Ah, you tried your best, laddie." <laughs> <laughs> You, you get even more goo all over his back. <laughs> I, I give him some. I slap him on the shoulder, and there's just like a spatter of gore. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I need to roll some recoveries because I, I still have five HP. <laughs> yeah, we can. Uh, we can quick rest, right? Yeah. Let me. Let me finish this up real quick, and then you guys can make sure rest. So as. So as the zombies go down, as you guys are finishing this up, as you're co as you're comforting. Poor Clavis. Um, the the zombies up in the corner. Uh, you realize uh, that there are a force of uh, silver shields come through and just oh, oh. finally. I mean, it's been ages, and but about a dozen sh silver shields come through and uh, with a little bit of effort annihilate this uh, the zombie shufflers up up here that thankfully you guys had forgotten about. Um, oh, what? <laughs> they were up there. They were up there munching on the that silver shield that initially got uh, killed. 
But at least the guards could kill something. Yeah, I gotta say, bar barbarian rage is a really good like metaphor for not having noticed your screen can move up. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So shortly after. You guys... So can we can we arrange with those silver shields for a bit of um, sword training for Clovis because I think he's uh, quite, he's rusty as quite he said possibly yes but right now they're trying to just they're trying to get everything sorted it, it's it, it's chaos there's so many dead bodies some of them were actually dead you know the, before the attack happened and they're what you notice about the silver shields is that they're not. They're not really in here, like, gung-ho about taking charge and sorting this all out. They seem to be more like, let's let's check on, on our comrades and everybody else kind of can go sort themselves out. They, they're not really... They're acting a bit um, tepid or uh, <laughs> they're, they're not really getting in to what you you would think they'd be asking questions and and trying to figure out what happened here uh, but they're really kind of keeping to themselves and watching their own backs and that sort of thing it's a bit door rear. It's Do a I bit want odd. a door rear. The, their shields are tarnished what kind of silver shield has a tarnished shield they're the ones that worked for the emperor if they were with the crusader they'd be polished all the time by our slaves <laughs> they they oh. They, a couple of them over here, and they give you a really, they give you a look, but you, it, despite the fact that you basically just insulted them individually and as a group, they don't come over to, to do anything about it, and, the, and then the situation gets even more chaotic, if that's actually possible, as wizards start teleporting in and start talking to the wizard, to the silver shields, and and it really quickly dissolve, devolves into like an arguing match as to who's taking responsibility for this. And it seems that neither one really wants to. And then you notice that there's a, that there's an argument even between the wizards. Um, from what you know of Eldalon, that there are a number of uh, wizarding schools here, and they have a, a very intense rivalry with one another. And you can see that uh, the rivalry between the wizarding schools is starting to come out, and, and they're blaming each other for, you know, this is why this happened. If only we were here, we could have taken care of this. Uh, you know, if we were in charge, the, these undead would have never arrived. And so there's this three-way argument going around between the Silver Shields and the different schools of wizards. And seeing this, um, your, your contact, uh, uh, Rayleigh, comes over to you guys and says, this, all right. I don't know what's behind this, and frankly, I'm not sure if I care. But whoever did this is—they're making a go at the emperor. I, I can't imagine that this was a random decision. Whoever did this targeted me because of my service to the emperor, and what I'm going to need you guys to do is help figure out who's doing it why and put a stop to it you were here because the emperor had promised you certain benefits i suppose is the best way to do it uh and i'm prepared to at least on my authority to extend those uh, as far as i'm able to do so uh, I'm, I'm sure the emperor himself has an interest in finding out who, who or what might have done something like this in the middle of the day in one of his cities. So I'm charging you with finding out who did this and putting a, putting an end to it. Do you want us so. to really find out or do you want us to find somebody likely and beat him up? No. I'm, I'm sure, I mean, something like this, you're going to have to to bloody some noses along the way, but make sure you find out who's completely behind this whether I would prefer you bring them to justice in the lawful manner that the emperor supports but I will acknowledge that sometimes in the field things get a little dirtier than perhaps good we can like. be civilized about this we can be civilized and find this uh, speak for yourself <laughs> if you can find brutes them, brutes <laughs> If Don't worry, good sir. We'll do this by the books. 
If you can find them and bring to the, them to the Silver Shields, I'm sure that that would be the best way to do this. However, I'm not going to tell you that you must do it this way. If you want that lot can't even take care of the shields. How could they take care of a criminal? But I kick him in the shin. <laughs> right, well, I'm I'm gonna go ask some questions. I know some of these people. They might have some information that might be useful for you. Um, I recommend you guys. You look a bit beat up. Catch your breath. Get something to drink, and uh, we will get this investigation underway. Next time. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we will continue on to the next scene in the next video, which, uh, if you are watching this, should be next Friday. Uh, it will cover... We're not... I, I should have clarified this up front. We are not going to do the entire Shadows of Eldon because uh, we don't want to spoil anything for anybody, but we do want to give you a taste of what it's like, what the... The maps are like the, the token icons and how it plays in Roll20. So, uh, but we will still be doing one additional scene and we will upload that next week. So, uh, until then, everybody say goodbye to our viewers. Bye. 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 -bye.